Hey everyone, this is Darren Bowsman. You are watching Trailers from Hell, and we together are going to watch the Dunwich Horror Trailer. Uh, it's a psychedelic, weird, kind of undefinable horror film from the 1970s that was based on the Mastro, H.P. Lovecraft. Let's take a look at the trailer. The nights are darker. And night is when it happens in... The Dunwich Horror. I have a, an admission to make, something I'm not very proud of, but I've just recently discovered H.P. Lovecraft in the last five years. And uh, the first book of his I read was the, the Cthulhu Tales. And I, I immediately set out on this kind of thing to find everything I could with Lovecraft. He's macabre, he's dark, he's, he's everything that I love about horror. So I started trying to get comic books and movies. And, and one of the first ones that I watched that was inspired by him was The Dunwich Horror. First off, to be noted, is the kind of weird mishmash people collective that, are, that, that made this movie. Produced by Roger Corman, starring Sandra Dee and Dean Stockwell. And it was actually Ed Begley's last, uh, last film role. It was kind of a weird, in my opinion, casting choice because as, as great as Dean Stockwell is in the Quantum Leap series, not so much in this. He plays everything very monotoned. And it was kind of hard for me. I zoned out a few times. But what kept me interested and why I did love it was all of this kind of weird, psychedelic, and it's very much a product of its time, imagery they would flash to. Very, very rarely do you see the monster like this one, the ancient ones, but when they do show it, it looks like a bad acid trip, which is kind of awesome. I also am a huge fan of the occult, and if you're a fan of the occult, I recommend checking it out for one main thing, is the seances and rituals that Dean Stockwell does. You know, so many times in movies, they're kind of ridiculous and, and schmaltzy, and I felt there was something kind of horrific about the way he was doing it. He was so precise, he was so specific in the choreography. And a good, you know, of the 90 minute movie, I would say 30 minutes of it is literally just this ritual. It's also, uh, for me, the first time that I actually saw Necronomicon in, in a movie. I mean, I guess in my infancy, I thought that that was all about Evil Dead. Well, obviously the great H.P. Lovecraft came up with that. And Necronomicon, the book, comes as a, as a big set piece in this movie. When you do see the monster, it is pretty awesome and it's kind of worth it. It's this weird plastic snake. I don't even know what to call it. But you go watch it and come up with your own interpretation. The Dunwich Horror. Never heard anything like that. Come back, old one. Princes of darkness and repossess the earth. 